one day a game that was going to revolutionize technology video game tech as we know it it was going to release the development time was the year 2006 through 2008 it was known as free radicals battlefront 3. one day the company got new management at the heated development the previous management claimed they were uh hitting developer milestones when new management showed up that's when things changed many people don't know the actual story of what happened to this game and its developers online. It is available. However, when you come onto YouTube, it is hidden or being quote as ambiguous. We don't know what happened, etc. Here's the truth. The team was harassed by new management at LucasArts. The employees worked hard on this game, putting on sacrificing time and effort to create some of the most unique Star Wars experiences ever made. And they were met with endless harassment. It was bullshit and unfair circumstances. Isn't it fucking strange that Ubisoft, the same company who rushed Free Radical's development of Haze while they were working on Battlefront 3, gets to license the Star Wars games now. And EA, a company that who actually monetized Star Wars, got the license just in time to make Battlefront 3. Only a few years later, Battlefront 3 Free Radical got cancelled. Then LucasArts harasses the employees as if they don't want the game to release, and it's fucking bullshit and incompetence, and it shows a lack of care for the people who are working hard on this amazing game. That They harassed those employees and bullied them and harassed them. That's the real story story not the bullshit they fucking told you because they didn't know if they were going to make money off of the game how hard would it have been just to cut the budget of the game negotiate you don't cause over 200 employees to lose their damn jobs that's how many people lost their jobs over this story it's some serious stuff it's not a joke this is the true story of what actually happened to battlefront 3 then you gotta ask yourself why were they harassed well, Battlefront 3 was ambitious, and they didn't know if they were going to make money. Look at what we got in replacement. That's a context clue right there. Isn't it convenient that Battlefront 3 gets caught up in harassment, but Battlefront 2015 is just fine, no issues, and EA conveniently gets the license after shutting down Pandemic Studios as if they were the last chance to also make a Battlefront 3. All of a sudden, some anonymous ass motherfucker, employee ass motherfucker, which makes no sense because why would this random anonymous motherfucker just come out of nowhere and say the exact same thing the companies are saying? That's fucking suspicious. Came out and claimed the game was unfinished. One anonymous ass employee, uh, one anonymous ass dude, and he's... The other employees with the game were saying the game was finished. So why the hell is one random anonymous dude saying otherwise? And why is he... It's ridiculous. Out of 200 people who not only got fired, but a lot of them kept saying the game was almost done. They even leaked the trailer that LucasArts took down. Let me ask you this question. If the game was unfinished, why did they take that gameplay down? If it was unfinished, that gameplay should be the proof of that. This is why you gotta know the whole story. The true story. Not the lies they told you ubisoft rushed the development of haze while they were working on battlefront 3 and conveniently got the license later lucas arts refused to pay employees for six months six months of not being paid over 200 employees lose their damn jobs then you had like one anonymous employee this one dude who claimed it was undone now why out of 200 people who lost their jobs would this one dude suddenly be defending a company that messed up feeding their kids why would they just harass them until people lost their jobs? Why not cut the budget of the game and negotiate? You don't cause over 200 employees to lose their jobs. So you have Ubisoft rushing the development of Hayes while they're working on Battlefront 3. They are the publishers of Hayes. Then you have LucasArts re refusing to pay their employees for six fucking months of some of the most important times of game development. Then you have EA that buys out Pandemic, the developers of Battlefront 1. And then they shut down Pandemic as if they were the last chance to also develop Battlefront 3. You see the sketch this is a three-way coincidence. All this is happening at the same time. Employees over 200 lose their jobs.
And the game gets cancelled, right along with Star Wars 1313 and many others like First Assault. These companies had to have been working together. Look who got the license after this happened. EA and Ubisoft. EA closed down Pandemic and was waiting patiently for the license. They got it around a after the cancellation of Battlefront 3. Battlefront 2015 was already in development. How was that possible? See, this is why you gotta know the full story of Battlefront 3. They sabotaged that game. They didn't know if it was gonna make money. It was very ambitious. They had companies like Ubisoft rush the development of Hayes. Over 200 employees lose their jobs unfairly. And they refused to pay them for over six months of game development. And yet, look at how finished Battlefront 3 looks. As if they don't want you to see how finished this game is, because it would prove the harassment to not only be true, but it would prove that this game was more finished than it led you to believe. This is the true story of Battlefront 3. The development of Battlefront 3 was sabotaged. It was completely ruined for selfish and nefarious purposes. That is the true story of Battlefront 3. Not that bullshit they told you it's a fucking lie and i'm here breaking it down right here right now thank you if you made it this far i am now out this piece more to come next will be the new builds or versions of battlefront 3 that can be found and what that means see ya when i see ya